Today's third grade small group is kind of an, a culmination of earlier in the week. You're going to focus on polygon or not with naming shapes and also naming fractions. Students should hopefully be independent on this today or close to it. So for polygon or not, remind students what it means for some, a shape to be a polygon. More than two sides, straight lines, and it needs to be closed. Then walk through with them, well, how do we name polygons? So there are triangles have three sides and three angles. Gone actually is uh, means angle or corner. Um, quad means four. Quadrilaterals can be squares, trapezoids, parallelograms. Quadrilateral is kind of our blanket term for four-sided shape. Pentagon, five sides. Hexagon, six sides. Hex Octagon, seven sides, octagon, eight sides, nonagon, nine sides, decagon, ten sides. Having this in view is helpful. They don't have to have this memorized yet. Our goal is for them to get really good at triangle, quadrilateral, pentagon, hexagon, um, but the rest would be fantastic as well. So what you'll do, just like earlier in the week, is you will show a um, shape and ask them, is it a polygon? Yes or no? Yes, it meets all of those three criteria. What would we call it? Well, let's go ahead and count the sides or the angles. One, two, three, four, five, six angles. Let's check and see if the sides match. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, six-sided shape is a hexagon. Next shape. And um, this one, again, we'll see how many. Is it a polygon? Yep, straight sides closed more than two sides. How many angles? Four. What would we call that quadrilateral? Let's make sure the sides are the same. One, two, three, four. They are. It is a quadrilateral. So as many as you can of those for about five minutes, about half of your time with students, and then they will get their um, fraction bump it sheet to work on, hopefully independently today, where you can ask them how many pieces is that shape cut into? Well, this particular one is cut into four. It's my denominator. How many are shaded? One. What is that fraction? One fourth. If students get all the way through their um, sheet, which it's possible, on the back is a different kind. Some of them have this, this version, and this is a set model of fractions. So same thing. How many dots are on this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven will be my denominator. How many are colored? Two, two sevenths. How many? Four. How many are colored? Four, four fourths. The other version that they might have on the back of their sheet could be this one. Same concept. They're counting how many? Well, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. A lot of times they leave off counting the colored ones, so just kind of watch for that. How many are colored? One. How, what's that fraction? One, six. And then they would keep going. So that's if they finish, then they could flip to the back. That's it for today. Thank you.